G'day folks, it's Rob here and I'm around at Mum and Dad's place again working on the aquaponics system. Today I'm plumbing in the solids overflow or lifting outlet, sorry, I should say from the fish tank into the radial flow settler. Uh, this clip was just supposed to be a bit of a behind the scenes thing for the folks on um, Subscribestar and the YouTube membership page. Thank you very much folks for all your support. Uh, but I've decided to release it here for YouTube mainly because I kept nattering on and I figured well it actually makes a fairly decent clip. Uh, not only that, I'm actually away this weekend on my first backyard aquaponics um, consultation gig. Pretty chuffed about that uh, down below the border. So I figured, yep, yeah, I'll release this for everyone to have a gander at. So before we get started, it'd be fantastic if you could hit that little subscribe button down there and check the bell icon when it appears so you can get notified for all the upcoming clips on this system build and whatnot. And there'll also be links at the, um, the end of the clip as well, uh, just looking at different aspects of aquaponic builds. If you want to have a gander at those clips, they might help you out some with your own build. Anyway, that's enough of that. We'll flip the camera around. So I've just had to um, swap over from my uh, phone camera to my video camera. So sorry if there's a drop in audio and video quality. Um, but yeah, uh, we're up to priming the um, fitting for the solids lifting outlet. This one here is one that Paul Van made. It came with our um, beige fish tank aquaponic setup. It's basically a uh, floor waste for your bathroom uh, with a 40 mil or inch and a half to 25 mil reducer glued in there and there's a section of pipe and some 316 stainless steel screws just to keep it a little bit of a gap from the base of the tank to the um, outlet. Uh, just creates a small void so it can create a lot of suction in that small void if there's a high flow rate coming through here. Um, these things here too by the way it's a case of getting to your hardware sh uh, store or plumbing supply store and playing around with fittings because I can guarantee you um, different brand fittings will um, glue together differently. Some of these you might have to shave some of the PVC off to get them to fit together and glue in properly. So it is pretty much well, just like Lego trying to find the bits that fit the best. Um, the priming solution, I'm using a proper priming solution. This one's the red one so you know which bits have been primed and which bits haven't. So it's just a matter of dabbing some on a rag and then wiping it over the surfaces you want to prime and um, that basically gets all the muck and gunk off and gets the PVC ready to accept the, um, the glue. So I do it on the inside of all surfaces and then on the outside. I need this little section here for something else that you'll see as I fit the slow inside the fish tank. And um, we'll just prime this surface as well. Excuse my shoddy glue work folks. I'll try not to make too much of a mess but we'll do the, um, the 45 degree first. And glue both sides. And then we'll glue these sections of pipe and we'll install them one at a time. I won't glue them both up to begin with and just pop that in. And I'm just going to hold it for a minute just because you will see that it, it, I don't know if you can see on camera, but it tends to push out a little bit there. So I just like to hold it in until the glue takes. So I will fast forward through this bit of riveting video. There we go, I think that's enough. I don't think it's popping out anymore. And now we will glue the drain fitting. It's just again a case of pushing that in. And I like to move it around, try and get a little bit of that blue glue coming through. And then we hold it again for some more riveting video. Um, I'm just gluing up the bits and pieces for the drain into the radial flow settler. So I've already done the internals on um, a dual 45 fitting and I'm making a mess here. And also on the, um, oh, I keep forgetting their name, this one here, it screws together. So I'll do it in front of the camera. So I'm getting a little bit of a blue line through there and trying to make sure that I don't drip any blue, as you can probably see down there. I dripped some blue down over that surface before. It didn't touch the rubber seal though, so hopefully it won't cause uh, any issues. This is the other section here. I've already glued it onto the, um, the other end, and you can see where it's separated just a wee tad. So it's, it's no huge drama. I was just about to go over and fit it onto the um, to the settler, I just realised there's another bit of pipe work I need to glue on this. So that's that section there glued with the barrel union. It's actually going to look like this. Fish tank, 
valve barrel union so we can remove this section and then the twin 45 to go up into the base of the um, radial flow settler. So here we go, uh, connecting this to the fish tank. Now this radial flow settler doesn't have to be here, it can move a little bit either side but I would roughly like it there in the middle, maybe even a little bit closer, so about there. And what I'm going to do is um, basically have to chop the pipe off a little bit. So I think if I just mark there, that's the end of the fitting. And then come out a little bit further, come out to there, and just take this off. I actually um, can't find my proper PVC cutter. I actually have a feeling it was in that little basket in the um, aquaponic shed when it got taken. There we go. Actually, that doesn't feel too bad. Let's take off some of the um, outside here. What happens is if you've got a little bit of a lip on the edge of the pipe, uh, it tends to push the um, scrape all the glue from the wall so nothing gets behind it. So that's what I'm pretty much all just feeling for here. This one down the bottom here. So I'll take it off. That should be pretty good. You get that little lip more when you're using the uh, PVC cutter though than the blade. Um, now where am I? That's right, I'm priming surfaces. So that one there's already primed. Just need to prime this one. And glue it all up. Normally I'd um, glue it up outside and then push it through. But I'm sort of... Um, a bit push for time today. We um, had a few bits and pieces to do with the house with John sorting that out, and I've had people on helping out as well as getting ready to go away. So just trying to um, hopefully do this the easy, quick way. Another thing with the uh, ball valves is try not to add too much because if it gets in there on the valve itself, the ball that forms the seal. You can stuff your valve up, and I think I might have enough there, there we go, and now, get off my hands before I put it everywhere else, let's move this out of the way a bit, let's push this on here, so yeah that looks like it's um, not going to slide back out, I'll just hold it here for a little bit longer, I won't make you sit through it though. So we're in the fish tank now. I'll just set the camera up and show you what we're up to. So what we want to do is um, connect this. This is about the center seam of the IBC here. We want to connect this so it sits over the center. Now obviously we have too much pipe here. So normally I'd just get my handy dandy PVC cutters, um, cut that off, it'd be really easy. And then I'm just going to slip this um, rubber sleeve on. And what that will do is um, that'll create a watertight seal but I don't, so I've laid down the little um, marag here and I'm going to do my best left-handed cutting and I'm actually going to cut just shy of where this needs to go that's pretty much all right there, I'll come in a little bit just so we've got a little bit of give and take um, when it comes to positioning this so if I wanted to, sorry for the jerky camera work folks if I wanted to um, move this outlet, not have it in the middle I could come back later and cut this off here and then, um, yeah, just attach this rubber coupling and bring it in closer to the edge. So they, they just make um, working around pipe work a whole lot easier. Uh, so we'll just set this up. So don't laugh at me, folks, because I'm not a left-handed person. I'm not very ambidextrous. We'll try and make a clean cut here. Oh, not too bad, if I say so myself. And then, are you there, Dad? Uh, thank you, Dad. Nothing else? No, that's it, thanks. So I'm just going to cut rid of these burrs. There's nothing really on the inside there. There's just a bit of a sharp edge down here. So we'll um, snip him off with this. So, And I will be running water through all this pipe work uh, before we get fish in here just to clean out any of this stuff. So now we're right to um, put on the little rubber clamp. So all I need to do is make sure that I get enough of this in for that um, little hose clamp there to tighten down on the pipe. Now all we've got to do is just slide that on there. There's more than enough um, pipe coming past that hose clamp. Let me just do this up. There we go, that's pretty much well it. 
Uh, I just wanted to point out that these these heights here aren't actually the finished heights. We actually need to move the uh, the base of the radial flow settler down uh, 15 centimeters or 150 mil, half a foot. Pick a unit of measurement and go with it. Uh, the reason being is the the water coming up through here uh, will be leaving the standpipe, which is just there in the stilling well. So now we've got that in focus. Uh, the top of that pipe there has to be below the water level. Um, here in the fish tank. The reason being is if it was above that there'd be no pressure forcing the water through so it needs to be below. Uh, that outlet there also needs to blow as well so the whole thing has to come down. Um, so that's something that we will have to do uh, before we finally plumb it up. Yeah so I'm pretty chuffed with the way that this has um, turned out. Uh, hopefully over the next couple of weekends I'll be able to knock it off if we don't have any more rain days. Uh, it's just a bit hectic for us at home at the moment because the renovation's coming to the end the last few weeks. Uh, the next job I have is to work out how I'm going to ho house the um, moving bed biomedia. I'm going to be using a PEO3, which is a K2 equivalent, um, in the sump tank just to look after any ammonia that comes through the radial flow. And yeah, then I'll um, once all that's sorted out, we can come back and play around with this pipe work. And I can plumb it up a few different ways just to give you folks a bit of an idea. But just one more look for today. Uh, we have that fitting in. We have that fitting in the base of the aquaponics system, coming out to the pipe work down the bottom here. A valve to regulate the flow. A barrel union. Another barrel union going in there once this is lowered, and then just straight up into the um, stilling well of the settler itself. So just before I go, again, I really do need to thank those awesome folks who are supporting us via the YouTube membership page and also Subscribestar. Thank you very much, folks. Um, as always, there are links to our super contributors, those guys who go above and beyond, down in the description below. It'd be fantastic if you could uh, check out their links, their Facebook pages and groups and whatnot, and um, show them some love. I'd really appreciate it. Also, too, there will be a link at the end of the clip here um, that takes you over to our shop if you are in the market for any uni seals or um, venturis or root pouches or even the Queensland nut busters. Check that out. Um, it all helps with the renovation fund, I can guarantee you that. Anyway, I will pretty much all leave it there. I do hope you're all well and happy and your own gardens and aquaponics are booming and I'll catch you next clip. Cheers, folks. Take it easy.